Okay, so first we have the Gen 1 Plus Pulsar with its own infrared illuminator on. If I line it up all right with the camera, which isn't always very easy doing these. Now, to my eye, this looks all right, but to the phone camera, it's not so good. Um, you can see some of the stars up there. Again, this is with the infrared illuminator on. But to my eye, I can navigate via this, but you can't see all that far off. Basically, where the IR light goes to is as far as you can see. So, for comparison, I'm just going to quickly show you the British IM101 Gen 2 night vision without an IR illuminator on. Right, here's the IM101, and I can get it in frame, um, which is always easier said than done when you've got a big night vision unit with a strap on it. Um, but yeah, to my eye, this is very clear, and bear in mind, this has no IR illuminator on it. So, um, obviously, a Gen 2 wins by far, because I can actually, if this wasn't so zoomed in, I could navigate by this perfectly without um, the IR illuminator on. This doesn't come with its own IR illuminator, but without an IR illuminator torch on. Just simply because, um, you know, obviously this has a good enough light gain. Um, you can see, obviously, the stars look pretty bright there. I have got the brightness turned to max on this. Um, so you might see a bit of scintillation on the screen, but all in all, pretty damn good. You can certainly make out more than I think you could with the pulse of actually, with the IR light on. Right, now let's try this German night vision with an IR torch turned on. Okay, now this is quite hard to get the camera on this one because of the uh, sort of headrest for the night vision. But if I can get the camera on it, this one is actually much better than the Pulsar for light amplification without IR. Uh, I could actually just about navigate using this without an IR light, uh, which is pretty amazing. But sadly, I think the camera is just not going to see the screen in the dark, uh, which is really frustrating because you can see there, there's the green light. See but unfortunately I just think the camera doesn't want to line up with it properly. Or it's, you know, just automatically getting the brightness down. Oh, there we go. Right, so you might... I don't know how well you're going to see down there in all honesty, because with my human eye looking through this, it's really good. With the camera's exposure set to max here, it doesn't look so good. This is better than the pulsar without IR. That's what the star looks like through it. Right, now let's flip the IR light on. Right, okay. Now I've got the IR torch placed on a bench just shining down the path. If I can get this in line again, which is really frustrating with the thing. Uh, is that looking frame? Not really. Ah, there we go. So that's what it looks like with an IR flashlight on. So with an IR flashlight, this is by far the best. Um, you know, the Gen 1s. Definitely better than the Pulsar. Um, I don't want to look too much at the IR light outdoors, obviously, with this on, because I don't want to damage it. It's not mine. Um, but yeah, this is actually very impressive, this German Gen 1 unit, as you'd probably expect from the Germans. Um, yeah, this is very, very good. But unfortunately, obviously, the camera's not going to show you how good it is, because the headrest gets in the way, and phone cameras never pick up night vision as well as the human eye does. If I look through this with my eyes, I can see perfectly, essentially. I'll look through it with the camera. Uh, you can make out some details, but not really, you know, anything to write home about. Right, now let's try something very interesting. Let's see what the IM101 looks like with an IR flashlight helping to illuminate it, considering it's a Gen 2. Okay, now to try the IM101 with an IR light, and wow, look at that. Uh, you can see pretty much perfectly. Um, 